Hey everyone, we're back with another reaction video and today we're checking out Bill Burr. We haven't checked anything from Bill Burr yeah. and today we're checking out no reason to hear a woman how women argue. Mm. Mm. So it got mm. suggested from other comedy reactions we did and uh, I like to discover new comedians. Me too. And man. I never listened to anything yeah. from Bill Burr so it's our first time. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Here we go. No, we have these huge battles. You know what the maddest she ever got at me was? One time she was watching this show, it was like a poor excuse for The View, and they started talking about domestic violence, right? For the nine millionth time this year, they're talking about domestic violence, just in case, you know, you didn't get the memo, you know? <laughs> Evidently, you know, just some people didn't get it. It's not okay to slam your wife's head into the cupboard drawers because she didn't dry the can opener off properly, you know? It's gonna fucking rust, right? <laughs> How do you not know what? not to do that shit? Do they really have to keep talking about it? Uh, who, who, it's like wife beaters watching for, oh, fuck, ah! Oh, <laughs> now I get it, ups a daisy, sweetheart, here we go. There you go, oh. <laughs> Ooh, okay. man. So at the end of the hour, they come to the logical conclusion. They're like, there is no reason to hit a woman. There is no reason to hit a woman. And I was just like, really? I could give you like 17 right off the top of my head. <laughs> what? If you wake me from a drunken stupor, I could still give you like nine. <laughs> Dude, there's plenty of reasons to hit a woman. You just don't do it. <laughs> wow. You sit there and suggest that there's no reason. <laughs> Dude, the level of ego behind that statement. What are you, levitating above the rest of us? Levitate. You're never annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Women, how many times have you thought about slapping your, your fucking guy in the head this week? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. Every day. You didn't do it, right? No, you can't do it. Oh, dude, it drives me nuts. There's no reason. There's no reason. Really? No reason? How about this? You marry a girl, you fall in love, you buy her a house. You go to work every day, paying off the house. You come home one day, she's banging the next door neighbor, hands you divorce what? papers. You got to move out, sleep on a futon, and still pay for that house that she's going to stay in. No. No reason. No. <laughs> I'm not saying you should do it, but there's plenty of fucking reasons in that arc of a story. You got a point. <laughs> All right, that was a hypothetical. He, yeah. he got a point, you're saying, but she is he got a deceitful. Point. Yeah, like, I know. Just I know, imagine someone got a doing point, this. He got a point in the logic, you know, in the logic. Yeah, like, like logically, you can't, you can't talk like no reason whatsoever. I know, to, but to, she, to, to she never, is banging the you know. neighbor and then he yeah, came I know, home. Of I course, know, like, I know, I know. leave her. He meant for it to be funny. <laughs> I'm, having fun, I'm having my time of fun, yeah. You want an actual pawn and still pay for that house that she's going to stay in. No reason. <laughs> I'm not saying you should do it, but there's plenty of fucking reasons in that arc of a story. <laughs> Look at the delivery. <laughs> it's mad. <laughs> All right, yeah. that was a hypothetical. Hypothetical. <laughs> you want an actual story? Yeah. I'll give you one. Yeah. I'll give you one. Yeah. All right, I fucked up my foot playing drums, trying to get my bass drum foot as fast as uh, John Bonham's. Because I figure that's a good thing to focus on. 43 years of age, never married, no kids. I figure this, this is going to lead me to the light, right? This, this, this is what I need to do. <laughs> so I don't know what I did. I, I felt like after, I played for like an hour and afterwards, I felt like literally like there was some midget stabbing me in the bottom of my foot, right? Mm -hmm. Like I had lightning coming out of the bottom of my foot. So I did the typical guy thing. I'm like, I'm not going to the hospital. I'll sleep it off. Be fine, right? Next morning I wake up, my foot's even worse. And I got to walk my crazy dog. So I'm like, I can't do it. My foot's killing me. So I wake up my girl go, sweetheart, sweetheart, can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Can, can you walk the dog for me? Can you uh, just take the shift? You know, I'll do your afternoon shift. Can you just do me this song? Can you do this for me? And she's just like, oh. No. You know, I had a late, late night last night. I'm tired. I have a big day. And I just go, fuck it. No. She goes, what do you mean, fuck it? It's like, why can't you just say no? Why do you always got to like waterboard me with like a 20 minute explanation that eventually winds its way around to go fuck yourself? Just say no. So I'm just limping out of the room. Whatever, go back to bed. You got a big day, right? So now I'm like limping down the street. I got like Tourette's fucking goddamn bullshit. Dogs walking next to me. He's angry too. And I got to admit, I got a little childish. I did. I got a little childish, you know? I was just thinking about my relationship. I'm like, this, this is the relationship I'm in? You're just gonna do whatever the hell you wanna do, all right? And fuck me? Fine, I'm gonna do whatever the hell I wanna do. I feel like listening to my iPod on full blast, walking around the house. That's what I'm gonna do. 
So that's what I did. Turned it all the way up, and I just, I, my whole plan was just to walk by her like I didn't even know her. That was it. She came down the hall. I just ghosted her. Just walked right past her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just trying to piss her off. And I got to tell you something. Childish. Worked like a charm. Childish. Yeah. Worked like a charm. <laughs> yeah. Hung my coat up. Turned around. By the time I turned around, she was already yelling at me. Yeah. But the music was so loud. Not only could I not hear her, it actually looked like she was singing the song that I was listening to. No, this is dysfunction. <laughs> it's one of the highlights of the relationship. So I knew what she was saying. I was like, whatever, I don't want to talk Ew. about it. Leave me alone. I'm going on to the computer, right? So I limp over and I sit down, and unbeknownst to me, she's like, no, we're going to talk about this right now. Comes out, poof, and slaps the headphones off my head. Yo. I got a big, I got big ears. It fucking hurt. <laughs> so I'm like, honey, leave me alone. I don't want to talk about it. Put the headphones back on. She comes right back up again. Poof, slaps them off a little harder. This time they spin halfway around my head. <laughs> Caveman DNA starts coming up. Talking through my teeth, honey, leave me alone. Don't want to talk about it, right? Put him on third time. She comes up, poo, slaps him right across the room, and I snap. I'm like, fine, you want to have the fight? Let's fucking have the fight. She's like, we will discuss this later when you calm down. Yo. Ah, no. Right there. Yes. I just wanted to roll her up on her yoga mat and stuff her behind the couch. <laughs> Put her in the trunk. there till she got thirsty. Come on, let me out of here. I, I have a spin class. You've made your point. This is, this is ridiculous. <laughs> no, that's the thing. This. <laughs> really is. That's the thing. I, I hate that saying there's no reason. Obviously, I'm not saying to hit a woman, you know. But saying there's no reason, I think that's crazy. <laughs> when you say there's no reason, that kills any sort of examination as to how two people ended up at that, at that place. If you say there's no reason, whoo, you cut out the buildup, you just left with the act. How are you going to solve it? If you don't figure it out, yeah. Ooh. look how awkward it is in here right He's now. He's teaching us Ooh, right now. The, he made I everyone think. I said you shouldn't hit a woman. I'm just saying, how come you can't ask questions? Ah. You can only ask questions about what the guy did. You can never ask about the woman. Why is that? So true. I agree. Why is that? What is that? What does is, what is answer him right mean? What does that mean? Are you the idiot who got up halfway through the special during the bit and you're like walking around like I'm not fucking taping a special here? What's wrong with you? He roasted her. What's wrong with you? Ew. Fucking had to ignore all of that Ugh. and now you're gonna like yell out? Ruthless. And not only that, yell something that makes no fucking sense whatsoever? <laughs> answer him. Answer him. Every fucking special I do, there's always one. <laughs> yeah. always right down the fucking middle. <laughs> right, right Talking the middle. about hitting women, sweetheart. <laughs> And I think you just added another reason. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I love this. I'm not even in a relationship with her, and she's fucking nagging me. Man. <laughs> like fucking unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I understand hitting a woman is a bad thing, okay? Well, you, how come you can't fucking ask questions? I just don't understand. Like, if I got bit by a rattlesnake, wouldn't you guys have some questions? All right? How did it happen? Did you not see it? Were you fucking with it? <laughs> how did this snake get so mad? It almost killed you. <laughs> Firemen put out a fire. They don't just drive away afterwards. They sift through the debris. How did it start? Here's an oily rag, right? Look, I realize I'm coming off pretty ignorant right about now. <laughs> I realize that. <laughs> Let me extend an olive branch then, okay? I realize that there's some animal guys out there, okay? Horrible guys, you know, have a rough day at the factory, come home, tune a casserole, and just start swinging, all right? <laughs> I'm not trying to say that those people don't exist. I realize they exist, they should be buried underneath the prison, okay? So if I can admit that, ladies, can you at least admit that every ass kicking doesn't just fall out of the fucking sky? Ooh. <laughs> you know really? It. Even hockey has two minutes for instigating, right? <laughs> they understand that some back and forth happened before that shit, you know? <laughs> you know what it is? It's every case is handled like that Rihanna one, where they just say, the guy's a piece of shit, fuck this guy, blah, 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 send him to jail, and then they never ask anything about that. You know, I'm not saying he should have done it, but I'm just saying. <laughs> one second. I'm just saying, dude, in your heart of hearts, what do you think was going down before that happened? You think she was just sitting there going, oh my God, Baston Robbins, you want to get some ice cream? And he fucking... 
<laughs> you know? Or do you think maybe they were having some epic end of the relationship fight and some crazy shit was being said? Maybe she was screaming in his ear some crazy female shit like, oh, fuck all your friends, I don't give a fuck! <laughs> Maybe that's why I sell more albums than you, motherfucker! Right? <laughs> to be fair, she could have just been sitting there going, I need a tissue, do you keep those in the glove box? Oh my God, I'll bring my out! I'll bring my out! <laughs> now fuck that, because you know what it is? They never address how women argue, which I think is the core of a lot of that shit. <laughs> you know? And I gotta tell you something, man. Like, I never knew how women argued, but after 20 years, of losing every significant battle <laughs> in a relationship. I finally figured out how they argued. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm starting to turn this franchise around. Hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me with it. I have begun a winning tradition. This is how they argue, as far as I can tell. All right, if they're right, they argue the point. And they stay on point and make sure you stay on point until you're down on your knees, apologizing, begging for forgiveness. All right, no problem with that. Totally respect it. But here's the thing, if they're wrong, they go rogue. They go off-road. <laughs> they start thinking of shit you're sensitive about, maybe you don't get along with your dad, and in their head, they just start concocting this evil statement. Ooh. Totally designed, this desperate, Hail Mary attempt to make you so fucking mad, you just call him a cunt. <laughs> That's what it is. And cunt trumps all the bullshit they did to start the argument. Now it's not about that one, that's no reason to call me a cunt. And then that's it, you're in this room now, right? Ooh. My girl knows my big thing is, my big fear in life is to be that dude who grows old, you know, grows old alone, has like that basement apartment, just screaming up at the younger couple, turn it down! <laughs> that isn't music! <laughs> so I noticed that, anytime she was losing a fight, I don't know what, she'd just be like, well that's why you're just gonna grow old and be alone, and I'd, I'd lose my shit. <laughs> oh. Next thing you know, I'm in the kitchen washing dishes for the ninth fucking time in a row. This is what the argument was about. I was so right, what happened? So if you learn anything from my ignorance tonight, <laughs> just know this, next time you're in a battle with your beautiful woman, your, your wife, girlfriend, whatever, and they start out of nowhere, okay? You're winning and they just start saying that crazy shit out of nowhere. Just know in that moment you've won the fight, okay? <laughs> all right, don't get mad. Bob and weave, slip all of that shit. He let out you, you got a little dick, just let that slide. Stay in the pocket <laughs> of the argument. <laughs> Okay? It's over. <laughs> Argument is over. You've won. Just take a knee and run out the clock. All right? Run out the clock. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> Lean on the ropes. Let them punch themselves out. And then in the end, you throw this psychology right back at them. Well, maybe we should discuss it later when you calm down. <laughs> <laughs> and they won't hook up with you no. for a couple of days. Yeah, I know. Hmm? No, 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 no. Rub one out. Bad idea. You rub can't. one out like a man. What did you say? Champagne. I didn't hear. Yeah, you can't. You, I mean, you can't. I actually understand. You can't tell the. You, you can't tell a woman that he, he, we'll talk when she calm down. You know? No. Yeah. <laughs> In a victory. What did he say? Well, maybe we should discuss it later when you calm down. Yeah. <laughs> and they won't hook up with you for a couple of days. Who cares? Who cares? You rub one out. Rub one out like a man. It's the champagne of victory. The champagne of victory. <laughs> Oh. What? <laughs> Very interesting. Okay. okay. Wow. Okay. okay. This wow. is a lot. Yeah. I didn't expect him to be like this, you know, in your face, straight to but, the point. Like. But I truly, I truly love that Ooh. kind of delivery. He even, he even, uh, he knew when to like, uh, have like a pause, you know, like a time out where to, to let the crowd react or think about a thing wow. that he talked about, you know. And, and that and, like, yeah. yeah, I found that really, really unique to Bill Burr. Like, Actually, I, I found that the clip has so much humor in it, but also so much life lessons, you know, especially for people who are not experienced in relationships. Yeah. Because there's one moment where he stopped and started like speaking on a psychological level about things, you know, not just giving examples of relationship, like yeah. hypothetical or even real relationships. Mm. That's what I found interesting. He, found, he talked even about what he, uh, what he, he knew, went through. you know, and what he went through. Yeah. And, uh, but I believe that. this is relatable, like this is the stereotype of relationship, yeah. you know, and I, I, I mean, we've been through things like that. Sure, know? everyone. But, uh, but 
when you learn and you know how to manage a relationship, it feels like those type of things that are so immature and you know when you when you when you are wrong and then you play the victim, you feel like this is dysfunction in a relationship. Right. Like it's an immature two immature yeah. person mm. persons or one immature person is like we did it. Like I know when he spoke about you know when you get angry when you argue and then you have to uh, apologize. Yeah. Like this is a childish uh, behavior. behavior. That's what I believe. But when two people are healed, you know, you don't act this way. You're we right. don't do it. You know, and we've been together for a while, for a long time. Yeah. So more than a grow. decade actually. Yeah. yeah. So you grow out of it. But mm. I know a lot of people who d- who do such things. Yeah. Who didn't and I grew. Uh, <laughs> Uh, grew out of it and yeah. Uh, but yeah but no we did yeah we did and a while ago that's why I feel it was so childish and now okay oof. and and this is why you can re- relate actually yeah we relate to what he talked about everyone I understand can relate him. yeah but but yeah like you mentioned the uh, right now when we have an argument or or whatever like we never we never actually do that like I never no. ignore you I never ghost you I never, never. walk pa- past yeah. you know like no, we go weird. we go and talk about it all the like time. Like communication and, uh, is key in a relationship. We never, I never feel like the meter would go high enough uh, to to be angry. You know, yeah, like never. we we never let that happen. You know, we 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 talk about it. We calm True. down. We even though I was you know a little bit like angry before, yeah. but now I learned it's not the way to treat another person. Like no one is above uh, you know criticism. Like. Uh, above a reproach like mm. if you are doing wrong you have to admit and just apologize sure. the easy way you know yeah. don't yeah, beat go. around the bush just go straight and <laughs> yeah. this is mature and don't, and don't play the victim and, do, and don't play the victim uh, yeah, yeah like. especially don't play the victim and um, man <laughs> I feel when he talked about how women argue I feel like if you want to uh, look at it psychologically you know I feel like a lot of people argue and fight especially women just to put you in the same mood to 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 ah. for you to feel that pain by relating you know mm. just understand me through what i'm going through like i'm gonna make you mad because i'm mad yeah because i have some needs that are repressed and i want you to feel by relating by feeling my emotions and pain that's yeah. why maybe i think women do such things and i understand them like the guys can go crazy you know yeah because, you know why uh, yeah people people think that you That's have a problem. We have a problem when you think that men and women uh, can think alike, or no. their brain fu- functions the, uh, in the different. same. Yeah, no, that we're different. We're really different. True. And when you actually know and admit, and and keep that in your mind, like no, we're different. You're gonna react yeah. differently than what I would react in that kind of situation. You know, yeah. like and when you actually think about all that and keep it in your mind, like oh, that happened. Now I would react like that, but. She wouldn't, you know. True. And this is why you, you need to. Now I need to act need like to understand uh, to put myself in your shoes, you know, to think uh, like True. you and, and all of that. And and the, the, reverse the rules. Yeah, yeah. it's very important. Yeah, Communication is. I don't know. Like we are now counseling. We're doing some counseling. No, we but, have, but we it's have very own, important. Yeah. I truly acknowledge what he's saying. It's so true. Like. No one should be slapped. No one should be yelled at. No one yeah, should sure. be treated sure. in a bad way, either no, woman or no, man. No, 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 you just no. have to understand men, how they yeah. think, how they act. You I know? think if and yeah. and women also. I feel like psychologically speaking, fighting and arguing is actually an intimate thing. Like you don't argue or fight with a stranger if you don't care. You, know? you feel like it's an act of being uh, emotionally naked with your loved one yeah you know that's sure. why fighting is intimate like you know sex and other things it's yeah. so intimate but you know don't go like far beyond the, and do beyond the limit sure yeah, beyond the limit that's yeah so, sure, um, sure and i really think right. that if you if you're with a guy or with a woman uh who can actually put a hand on you and you should definitely not be there like yeah no, no one should be this able to hit anyone. An animal, a human, <laughs> you Never. shouldn't hit 
it, it so should I never be the answer, yeah. you know, like, yeah. So I think those examples he's given are, you know, dysfunction relationships, immature people. Like if you're healed, two people are healed and they come in a relationship, it is definitely going to be a very mature and healthy relationship. That's Amen what I to that. Now, <laughs> yeah. But I really enjoyed, like, he's so real, you know, he yeah. draws his... Now we got to get back to the book. Everything from real. <laughs> Yeah, like yeah. I went like he, he actually he actually make you made made me think and made the whole debate like this and the whole argue. Yeah, and I love that. I love when you yeah. when you we started the conversation when you hear out a joke of this and when you hear a comedian talk and then you have to think about what he talked and and really like communicate yeah. about it and and elaborate even more. But overall, Bill Burr, wow, I'm so excited to know more what yeah, me too. what he's gonna be talking me about too. because he's so real. He's he's. How do you call it? Like, On call point. a spade a spade. That's what yeah. I love about him. Yeah, bold and... And it's not uh, offensive even if you think no. about it. Like, he's I giving you humor and also, you know, advice. Yeah, I love that lessons. kind of comedy, you know. The comedy that ha- that had everything in it combined. Yeah. Like, you know, you, you can have a laugh, but actually really True. go back home, I don't know like, about snowflakes, no, you know. They can get knowledge. triggered, but, you know, mm. if you open your mind, you can, you know, yeah. draw some conclusions from yeah. it. We shouldn't I be offended, it. yeah. <laughs> like... Uh, We're, uh, we're being educated by Bill Burr. <laughs> That's True. how I, I feel. With a laughter, so of course. So I want more. Now. I want more recommendations. Yeah, me too. Me too. Yeah. I think that. And without the video taking forever, we're going to have to wrap it up for any <laughs> recommendation. Make sure to drop down in the comment below. And don't forget to like the video. And of course, our journey with Bill Burr has just begun and will definitely continue. So stay tuned for more. <laughs>